In the 51st episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the first ever EVGA AMD motherboard, the new AMD Adrenaline 21.9.2 drivers, EK Waterblocks launches the Quantum Power Bundle Magnitude X360 DRGB, and NVIDIA GeForce 472.12 game ready drivers have Windows 11 support. We start with EVGA and their first ever AMD socket motherboard, the EVGA X570 Dark. This motherboard is equipped with a 17-phase digital VRM design and two integrated VRM fans for additional active cooling. Other features of this motherboard include support for RAM overclocking upwards and above 4800 MHz and two RAM slots which are directly connected to the CPU and thus the memory controller. This motherboard also has plenty of tools included which are dedicated for overclocking, such as dual two-digit post displays and a Pro Belt header for direct input on the components installed on the motherboard. We continue with AMD and their latest Adrenaline drivers, now at version 21.9.2. This driver adds support for three video games, World War Z Aftermath, Diablo 2 Resurrected and New World. The fixes included with this release include some glitches within the Radeon software. This is regarding to the CPU additional metrics section which may or may not work for certain systems. Speaking of missing things, the auto overclock feature for CPU in Radeon software being missing for some users has now been addressed. And the other fixes are regarding some water issues with Hitman 3 and a compatibility error message which appears when attempting to load a previous saved tuning profile. Unfortunately, this driver has plenty of known issues, such as open broadcaster software may continue to run in the background after a user ends a recording and closes the application. Driver timeouts might be experienced while playing a game and streaming a video simultaneously, and AMD Radeon software may crash or become unresponsive while playing some DirectX 11 games, and many more but I'm not listing them here because we don't have a noid. And now we have EK Waterblock which has launched the Quantum Power Bundle Magnitude X360 DRGB. This kit includes a CPU water block, a 360mm radiator, 3 EK Vardar fans, an EK kinetic pump and reservoir combo, 6 compression fittings, around 3 meters of clear tubing, 100ml of EK cryo-full liquid, a splitter cable to pour all 3 fans from the same fan header, a power supply bridge adapter to start the power supply without the motherboard, a pump and reservoir bracket for easy installation, a 6-way splitter for RGB headers, a multiple size Allen key, two EK rotor torque fittings, a soft tubing cutter, a foldable filling bottle, a reservoir holder and a cryofuel die pack. Some components can be chosen before purchase. This includes the CPU water block, the fans, the compression fittings and the two rotary fittings. And all this is available for purchase right now for only 731 euros. And I'm going to leave it like this. And finally, NVIDIA has a new game ready driver available, the 472.12. This driver has full support for Windows 11 and includes optimizations and DLSS support for Alan Wake Remastered. Deathloop gets full support for NVIDIA Reflex as well as many other games such as Far Cry 6, Hot Wheels Unleashed, Industria, New World and World War Z Aftermath, among other titles. The fixed issues with this release include a lag when enabling rebar within Watch Dogs Legion, Battlefield 5 in DirectX 12 mode might crash if HDR is used and other things that are too long to mention. The known issue list is present as per usual and many of them are linked to the Windows HDR feature. Yet again, no driver is without faults. And this is the end of the episode number 51 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.